Hello, my digital portfolio class. I'm Mr. Ivy, and in this video, I want to introduce you to the classroom expectations and how I've set up my Moodle page for this online digital class. The first thing to know is this class is going to be completely online. Everything that we do can be found on our class Moodle page. If you look at the top of the Moodle page, there will be a link to a Zoom meeting area that if you have any problems or questions, you can click on this and be able to connect with me. Now, this class does not have any specific meeting time, so the best time to connect with me through Zoom would be during my office hours, and I'm going to send you a copy of my class schedule for this semester so that if you do need to meet with me or talk with me through Zoom, those would be the best times to do it. Otherwise, feel free to send me an email, try to describe your problem, and I'll see if I can record a video and get back to you with an answer. The next thing you'll need to do is to have a look at our syllabus and addendum and download a copy for yourself. You don't have to turn in anything. This is for you to uh, have for your own personal use, but it does cover many of the things that are important for this class and for our art department. The other thing to pay attention to is our class semester schedule. Now this particular class only lasts half a semester, which means we'll be ending all of our classes on October the 15th. Notice that after that, no more classes, no more projects. And you can see we'll be doing essentially one different project every week. Some of these will have more or less time depending on whether we have any kind of break or um, anything that happens during the semester. It's very important that you set aside some of time on your own to work on these classroom assignments because you only have one week to be able to turn them in. Now if we go back to our Moodle page, under the frequently asked questions, this will talk a little bit about my classroom expectations and how I do grading. First off, all of the assignments are going to have a definite due date. Now if you turn in any project past that due date, I automatically take off 10 points for every day that it's late. This is essentially an entire letter grade. For just turning in work that's one or two days late, I'll take off 10 to 20 points. So it's very important that you hit those deadlines and the due dates for each of the projects. There are going to be two types of grades that I'll give. One will be for all of the projects that you do. The other will be a final portfolio grade. Your projects are going to count 80% of your overall grade, and the portfolio you turn in is going to count 20%. So that's a major portion of your entire grade. You're going to have about five different projects for this particular term, and I'll talk about how I structure those in just a moment. You can read over everything else. Do let me know if you have any kind of special accommodations that I need to uh, have met for you, and um, make sure you've contacted the Office of Student Counseling and Disability Services about those accommodations as well. You will need to have access to your own computer, and this semester we're going to be using projects in Adobe XD, InDesign, Illustrator, and Adobe Animate. So you'll need to have access to the entire Creative Cloud suite of products to be able to work on. Now I do recommend having a laptop or a desktop to do these projects. Most everything we're going to do can't be done just simply using a tablet or working just through hand skills or any other kind of software. I'm specifically going to be teaching that Adobe software and this is going to be very CPU intensive in order to use those. If you have any problems getting access to the software and you're on campus, I can get you access to our computer lab to be able to use as well. So I'll give you time to read through this, and if you have any questions about the frequently asked questions or our semester schedule, let me know in an email as well. Now regarding a textbook, there is no textbook for this class, but if you want to know a little bit more about the projects we're working on, I have some other recommended books, but they're not required for you to have for this class. I do require you to have some sort of digital portfolio, however. Now, if you've taken a class with me before, you should already have a portfolio established. You may use the website behance.net and set up a portfolio through there, or if you have your own personal website, I'll allow you to use that as your digital portfolio. 
you're expected to showcase all of the projects that we're working on in this online digital portfolio. And these can be either interactive or they can be mock-ups, they can be screenshots, but it needs to showcase the entire design that you have. So for instance, the first project we're going to work on will be an interactive report. It'll have multiple pages to it, and you can either show yourself doing a screenshot of each of the individual pages. Since it's interactive, you can record yourself going through each of the individual pages. As we set up our final portfolio, I'll give you some tips and tricks on what I would do to approach building this portfolio for interactive and online digital type content. In addition to the projects themselves, you can also include some explanation of the project and what it was for. I try to give real world projects that uh, you can have some sort of explanation or some sort of client that's based on. And so if you want to add these kind of details of why you did something, how it will benefit your client, what it was used for, maybe even some challenges or your work process, all of that can be included in your portfolio as well. Do make sure that you spell check everything, make sure you present good professional care to this online portfolio, and you're not simply uploading something that looks incomplete or looks sloppy and less than professional. All right, right now I'm going to have this turned off, but I'll give you a preview of how I structure each of the weekly assignments. First off, you'll see that they'll have a specific number for whatever we're working on, and as we open up new projects, you'll see them displayed down below at the bottom of the Moodle page. You'll get a brief introduction to it, and pay attention to the unit's due date. This is the date that everything must be turned in to me for your final grade on that project, and if you turn in after, I automatically count off or deduct points. Now it's okay to turn in something early. As a matter of fact, if you'll turn in work by Wednesday of their due date, I should be able to give you feedback so that you can make any changes. However, if you turn in work that's a little bit too close to the due date, I may not have time to give you feedback and you'll likely not be able to change up your project and get the best grade possible. So just make sure, if something is due on Friday, September the 10th, by Wednesday, September the 8th, you can turn it in and show it to me, and I'll try to give you feedback for your project or anything else that you've turned in. Now, the project details for each of the units can be found underneath the Project tab. This tab will give you all of the information that you need in order to build each of your designs. The way I like to structure this class is I'll have a series of videos for you to be able to watch. These videos are going to instruct you on different kinds of tools and techniques that I expect to see you use for this project. Now, I'm not going to show you how to build every single project. Instead, I want to see you take your knowledge of how to use these tools and how to use these techniques to build out your own design. I want to see you think and work through your own projects on a graduate level, the way you would if you were meeting with a traditional client. So pay close attention to the project details that will be given to you as a PDF. And in these project details, I may ask you to do specific things or include certain information. And then also pay attention to any of the project videos so that it will teach you how to do the different techniques for that unit. Now, once you finish any of the work that you've done, under the review section is where I'll have a place for you to turn in your work. Pay close attention again to the due date. It'll usually be by midnight of that day. And also pay attention to the file type that I want you to upload. Since we're working in a variety of different software, I'm going to have some very specific ways I want you to save these files so that I can open them up and give you a good grade. If it's not sent to me correctly, there's a good chance I won't be able to see your work. And if I can't see your work, then I won't be able to grade it. Just like working with a real-world client, you are responsible for ensuring that I can get your projects and then everything comes through perfectly. If there's any problems or questions, I should be able to let you know. This is also a good reason why you should turn your work in early, even if it's not finished, just to let me know that you're on the right track. Again, 
by Wednesday. Turn in your work and I should be able to give you some good feedback to work on. The last thing I'll point out is from time to time, whenever you turn in work, uh, Moodle only lets you upload files that are 100 megabytes or less. So if you've got a really large file that you have to turn in, you won't be able to do it through Moodle. If this is the case, go ahead and email that file to me. This will allow you to send it through your Google Drive and I'll be able to download your work from there. So at any time, if you've got a problem submitting your work, if it's too large or you don't know you've got the right file type, check out Moodle and then send me an email and I'll be able to work with you and step you through all of that. So that's it for our class Moodle page and my expectations for this semester. We're going to be starting our first project next Monday, so make sure to come back to the Moodle page to see those details and get an understanding of what you need to do. In the meantime, have a look and make sure you've got all the appropriate software and everything works well on your end for your computer. If you run into any problems or have any questions, simply send me an email so that I can work them out and you can be successful in this class. I'm looking forward to working with you this semester.